and today, Operatic Dimash. Oh, oh don't be ridiculous. Hello there everyone! My name is Andreas Krusel, I'm a vocal coach and today I will react to the amazing Dimash singing Ti Amo Così together with the world famous opera singer Aida Garfurina from Russia, now also an Austrian citizen and the great Lara Fabian На сцене Лара Фабиан, Аида Гарифулина, Димаш Кудайберген is this in a nice arena? Oh yeah. Nico Krutoy again. Wow, already some very cool stuff happening here. Dimash decided to go for more of a baritone-like sound in his voice here. So not the typical tenor tuning I would have expected from him with a lot of that ring in his voice. Also referred to as squillo. He probably felt that was a better choice for Aida's sound. Plus, he didn't sing very high in his first part, so it would have been difficult anyway to get that ring in the voice. Very smart stylistic choice here. But it's Dimash, so what did you expect? Also, did you notice how he synced his sound color and vibrato with Aida's sound on the last words here, Vita Mia? What an incredible attention to detail. Gosh, Lara has a crystal clear tone. Getting brighter with his voice. Oh, 
nearly drifted away <laughs> mesmerizing so wow that was really something new first he sang with another singer i haven't heard him do that before second it was very interesting to hear dimash in the context of a normal song where he used comparatively little of his range must have felt like a walk in the park to him or singing in the shower or as easy as smashing the like button and subscribing. Now, seriously, this was an amazing performance. We just witnessed so much attention to detail here. Dimash adapted to both other voices so perfectly. First a little darker with Aida, matching her vibrato speed, then starting to sing brighter when he sings with Lara, also matching her vibrato speed, and then in the end just a perfect fit for both voices. Spot on when it comes to musicality and song interpretation. And personally, I really love this song. It reminds me so much of early Josh Groban and Andrea Bocelli. And that's exactly my kind of music. And after that performance, I'd love to hear Dimash singing more classical music. Maybe even opera. Maybe Nessun Dorma. Could you imagine that? That would be mind-blowing. So let me know down in the comments below what other songs you want me to react to. And now, like always... A little vocal tip. Now let's talk a little bit about varying your voice color from dark to bright, like Dimash did it so perfectly in this song. If you want to get more of that dark sound color, just think a little bit of what Arnold Schwarzenegger sounds like when he speaks. Forget it. Or the boxer Rocky. Everybody to change! And there you are. Huh. One, two, three. That gives you a relaxed and longer pharynx. And the bright part you get by making a little moaning sound like this. Ah! It's a little bit like combining a cry <laughs> and that edgy sound. Uh. Now the bottom line with this is that you always need both elements in your voice. Dark and bright. If you lose one completely, the voice sounds dull uh. or squeaky. Uh. Plus things will become pretty difficult and straining if you want to move around in your range or sing louder. So you always want to combine them. So just play around with them and see what you get. Be a little darker. Dark. Brighter. Bright. Or try to balance it out right in the middle. Man. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.